the Japanese knotweed, and it is quite a beautiful plant, but it's a troublesome plant. And to tell us a little bit more about it is Joyce Cielucki from the UW Extension Office. Uh, Joyce, a, a very pretty plant, but it is an invasive species, something you probably don't want to have in your garden. That's right, Corey. The Japanese knotweed was planted extensively uh, in the eastern part of the United States, and it spread here into Wisconsin. People used to put it in their gardens because it does have a pretty white flower on it later in the summer. But it is uh, quite an invasive plant. It uh, has rhizomes that can spread up to 65 feet. There would be underground roots that can spread 65 feet. And its regular roots can go down at least 9 feet deep. So once you get it in and it becomes established, it can be very, very difficult to get out. Uh, where is it found? Well, generally it's found, uh, aside from people's gardens, along marsh, marshy areas and wetlands. And that's why it's a concern. Uh, we recently found out that this plant can produce viable seed, which means seed that will germinate and sprout. Uh, in the past, we didn't think it could do that. So now it's a big concern. It has a great potential to actually start clogging some of our waterways. Okay, and how would you get rid of it? What's the easiest way? If you have a small patch in your garden, please pull it out. You can pull it out manually by hand. Otherwise, if you cut the plant halfway through the summer, let it grow out a little bit, and then spray herbicide on it. That's usually pretty effective, but you may have to do it a couple times. Alrighty, thank you very much, Joyce. This is the Japanese knotweed, something you don't want to have in your garden, and that is today's Hands-On Gardening. Now, to us novice gardeners, it kind of just looks like another weed or plant. Yeah. Uh, how would you tell exactly if well, that's... Well, it was hard for me to tell, and, and I know it has kind of a, some reddish stems on it, but before you, you know, if you see something in your garden that has kind of the reddish uh, stems leading up to the, the rounded leaves, uh, don't go hacking everything out of the garden. Just right. uh, call the extension office, and they can come out and identify it for you. But again, the, the important thing is to get it out before it becomes established. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to pull out something that goes down eight, nine feet, okay. and that's, uh, that's hard. All right. Thanks, Corey.